I thought it would be fun to make some mugs and some plates that are all matching and in the team. But I do want everything to look cute, as I said. So a small handball uh, helps with that. Good morning! <laughs> okay, I have to be fair with you, it's not morning anymore. I'm trying to be a morning person, but it's not going so well. Um, but, you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. But um, I have quite some things on my to-do list today and I'm not going to be able to do everything today because I don't have that much time today actually. But the things that are on my to-do list are I first have to pack an order and bring it to the post office that does have to happen today. And I'm also going to throw 10 plates that I'm going to use for my birthday party. I talked about it in my previous video. I'm doing a high tea party and I'm making everything myself, the food but also the tableware. So that's going to be fun but a lot of work. But today I'm going to make all of the plates and yesterday or actually a few days ago, but in my previous video, I made all of the mugs. So the mugs are already finished. I have them here. I can give you a look if you haven't seen it yet, but I would definitely... Can you see it? It's a little bit dark there because the lamp is standing here. But um, yeah, they're very cute. I'm really happy with how they turned out. They are still drying. The handles did not crack, so that is great. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to make all of the plates, which is going to be fun. And I also have to make invitations for my birthday party and also send them out, which I'm probably not going to be able to do today. So I think I will do that tomorrow. And I also have to buy an outfit for myself that I'm going to wear at the birthday party. Um, yeah, I first wanted to know what I'm going to wear before I'm going to send out the invitation because I have to put a dress code on the invitation and I just want to base the dress code on my own dress. Well, I'm not wearing a dress, but the thing I'm wearing. Oh, and tonight I'm going bowling with some friends. So that's also happening. That's why I don't have that much time because I thought we were going to bowl at night, but we're actually already going at 5 p.m. So that's quite early, so I have to leave at 4 and it's already 1, so I have to leave in 4 hours and I also have to get ready before I leave, so then I need... I basically have 3 hours to do everything. <laughs> so that's fun, but we'll be just fine. But without any further ado, let's get started. I will start off with packing the order, so that that is done because I just have to send that out today. So that's what I'm going to do right now and then I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> so I can check that one off my to-do list and I will bring the order away while I'm on my way to the bowling alley. So that is all done for today. Now I'm going to start making the plates, but I've actually not really thought about how I'm going to make the plates yet. So um, we're doing that now. <laughs> well, I do want to make them like flat and with like a little rim upwards. If that makes sense. Like, yeah, just a flat plate with a little rim at the side. Like sometimes you have a plate that's like has like a flapping out part that's like a little bit higher and towards the side, if that makes sense. But I don't really want to do that because that's not really necessary, I think. But I do need to think of how big I want to make it because I'm not entirely sure. But I think that the biggest pies that I'm making are 22 centimeters wide. And then when you take a, like a triangle out of that, you only have to help, so that's 11 centimeters. So a pie of, so a cake of 11 centimeters should fit onto it. Um, and then I do want to have like two centimeters on both sides. So that would make 15, but I feel like 15, a plate of 15 centimeters. I have a ruler here. 15 centimeters is quite small for a plate, I think. That's like this. I think I do want it a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going for like 17 or 18 centimeters, but that is after it has been fired. And clay, as you maybe know, clay shrinks. So while it's drying and while it's being fired, the clay shrinks and well, gets smaller. So I have to make it a little bit bigger and my clay shrinks about 15%. Um, so we have to do a little calculation here. Let me think. <laughs> okay, so what it basically is, is after it has been fired, I want it to be around 18 centimeters, maybe a little bit smaller, but about 18 centimeters. And when it has shrunken, 15%, shrunken, I don't shrink, shrunken, it is 85%, right? So 85% is 18 centimeters, okay? But we make it like at 100%, like when the clay is wet, it's 100% because it hasn't shrunken yet. So then we have to do a little calculation. So we do 100% times 18 centimeters divided by 85% because that's what you're left with. 
So then I have to make a plate 21.17 centimeters, so just about tw 21 centimeters. So we'll be throwing the plates 21 centimeters. I have here a bowl of clay that's already been wedged. I didn't report that because I already recorded how I do it in my previous video. So if you want to see how I wedge my clay, check the previous video out. But I am going to try out to make a plate with this. This is 550 grams of clay. I'm not sure how much clay I'm going to need for a plate that is 21 centimeters wide. So I just took one piece of clay and I'm going to test it out. And then if it's the right amount, I will just take more bowls of the same amount of clay. And otherwise I'll take a little bit more, a little bit less clay. I prefer to make my plates quite thick at the bottom. Well, a plate is basically only bottom kind of. <laughs> so I like to make my plates quite thick. Um, like for the part that's attached to the wheel because I also trim them so I cut off some clay from the bottom to make a food ring underneath it and I also just want the final plate to be not too thin because otherwise they're very fragile and then they kind of like feel like they might break if you put too much pressure on them by for, for example when you're like cutting something on top of it or something so I just want them to be like nice and strong plates but of course also not too thick because I also don't want them to be too heavy but yeah I'm just going to try it out with 550 grams of clay and then we'll see how that works out uh, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> I just finished the first plate and it went quite well. I had a few struggles. I need a little bit more clay. I did manage to make this one 21 centimeters, but I feel like I wanted to make it a little bit thicker. So I will be using 600 grams of clay for the other plates, but I think I will just use this one as one of the plates because it's a good plate, to be honest. <laughs> it might just be a little bit tricky to trim because it's quite thin, at least a little bit thinner than I wanted to, but that's fine, I think. Oh, and by the way, I will not be cutting them off the bed, but I will just let them dry on the bed because I'm throwing on plaster and then if the piece just gets drier, it shrinks and then just pops off the bed like that and you can just take it off and that way I don't have to cut it. But yeah, I'm now just going to grab 600 grams of clay for the other ones and then I'm going to throw the rest of the plates. Here's a bit of a closer look to how I like to throw my plates. So I start off with taking a piece of clay and I smack it onto the wheel with a little bit of water underneath it so that it sticks nicely. And then I start centering it. I first press the clay towards the middle as far as I can get it. And as you can see, it's already quite centered, but to fully center it, I like to cone the clay up and press it down. And I repeat this multiple times until the clay is centered. And then when it comes to making a plate, it's actually not that complicated. Most of the work is just pressing the clay downwards and making the clay like wider, as you can see. And I do this by making a fist of my right hand and I just put a lot of pressure onto the clay and press downwards. And when it becomes a little bit wider, I make a movement from the middle to the side to press the clay towards the side. And then when it is already wider like this, you have to put even more pressure on it. Then I hold both of my hands onto each other and I press even harder. Then I take my ruler to see if it's already wide enough and it's almost as wide as I want to make the plate. So I start opening up the shape because I can make it a little bit wider by pulling the rim outwards. And I do this with a sponge and as you can see I slowly press the clay from the middle towards the side. This can be a little bit harder than opening up a normal shape because it is so wide and you want to keep it all centered. But I would just recommend to move slowly and also go over it multiple times and not try to move too much clay at once. Then when I have it as wide as I want, I like to go over it with this wooden loamer. This wooden loamer makes it nice and flat and it makes it easy to keep the same thickness everywhere. And then I start working on the rim here. I just pull this upwards with the sponge. And yeah, it's actually not that complicated. I just go for a simple little rim, but you can of course make that more complicated if you'd like. Then I matched it again and unfortunately it was a little bit too small. That's why I'm not a big fan of making sets, but I do want them all to be about the same size. So I decided to press a little bit more clay towards the side, as you can see here. And after that, I had to reshape the rim a little bit, as you can see. And then I went over it with my finger again to make sure that the rim was nice and round. 
without any sharp edges. And then I measured it again to make sure it had the right size and it did. So I was very happy with that. And then I just went over it with a sponge to get rid of any water or slip. You don't want any water or slip on the piece because otherwise it will dry unevenly and it might crack and we don't want that. So make sure to do this. And then the plate's finished. So I take it off the bed and here it is. Ta-da. <laughs> hi hi it is the next day again and um yes so yesterday i went bowling as i told you which was very fun and i did want to record some footage to go into this video but i unfortunately forgot but i did record some insta stories so here you go <laughs> uh, but yeah no i had a great night it was fun uh, i unfortunately did not manage to finish all of the plates that i wanted to throw so i wanted to throw 10 plates, but I only managed to throw 6, so right now it's the next day and I'm immediately starting off with throwing the rest of the plates. So I have 4 more plates to go, and after that I will start with some cake stands, so that should be fun. Uh, but yeah, first a few plates. Throwing plates takes me quite some time because I'm not very fast at it. Um, I think that's mainly because I just don't do it that often, so I'm not really used to throwing plates. Because I feel like if you do something more often you just get better and faster at it. So when I'm throwing a mug, for example, it goes quite quickly but with a plate it just takes a little bit more time for me because i don't throw plates that often because i don't really like throwing plates <laughs> but i unfortunately need some plates for the party i mean it's not that i hate making plates but i'd rather be making mugs to be honest the other plates are drying but it's not going very fast because it's quite cold in the netherlands a few days ago it was very warm and i thought it would finally become spring and it was sunny outside but unfortunately, it is cold again, so spring is not here yet, which is unfortunate, but well, we'll survive. <laughs> but because of the cold, it gets very cold in my studio, so uh, this morning it was 6 degrees Celsius in the studio, so it was not freezing outside, but it was quite cold. And because of that, the plates and basically everything dries very slow so that's not very handy because we have to make some speed because the party is already in two weeks and normally i let things dry for two weeks but they also have to be fired and uh, also why i hate plates they take up so much space in the kiln that i have to fire the kiln i think like quite a few times like three or four times i think and that is for the biscuit and also for the glazed fire so that's eight eight times that i have like six or eight times that i have to fire the kiln and firing the kiln takes like a day, a day or two, just depending like when I put it in the kiln in the morning, then I can unload it in the afternoon the next day, I think, with a glaze fire at least. So I need to hurry up, because like basically in a week things have to be in the kiln, otherwise I'm not going to make it. <laughs> but it will be fine, the next few days I will just be throwing so that everything can dry, and then uh, after that I will just... Uh, make sure that it's a little bit warmer in the studio so that everything dries a bit faster But for now, I'm just going to make some more plates So I'm measuring 600 grams of clay, which I was using yesterday Yesterday I did buy an outfit, by the way, uh, for the party I'm not sure yet if it's going to be great or not Because I bought uh, a pair of pants, which looks very nice with pastel colors with orange, green and pink I think it looks really nice and happy and Yes, I hope that one's going to fit me well, but we'll see. And I also bought a white shirt to go on top of it, but the white shirt has like texture and it looks really cool and I hope it fits me well as well. But I'm not sure if I can combine the two together because maybe then it will be a little bit too much. Uh, but more about that later, I will just show you when it arrives and then I will be trying it on and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. I need to concentrate because I can do this way quicker. So, um, yes. So yeah, I'll see you later when I've thrown some plates. <laughs> I just finished all of the plates and they're now drying, so I hope everything goes well with that. I've never made plates with this clay, so I hope they're not going to crack or anything weird, but I think we'll be fine. We'll see. Keep you posted. Here we go. <laughs> and like that the clay stand will come. Warped. Make sense? Okay.